Hey everyone and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. In this new tutorial, we're going to continue working on this Rally Vertex game. Basically, we will add sound effects to it. As you can see, the game looks boring without sounds. In this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to add sounds to any game that you have. So before we get started, as usual, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified with my videos. And let's jump right in. So first of all, you have to download these two scripts, a sound and an audio manager C# -sharp script. Basically, it allows you to add sounds to your game very easily. And you will need few sounds. I have these audios like the button click, coin, game over, and you could add as many sounds as you want. So let's drag these. And you could find these from the link under the description, of course. Let's drag these under our project. I'm going to put it under assets. Let's move the scripts under the scripts folder so that we can make our project well organized. And maybe we can create another folder using right click create folder i'm gonna call it game and let's put the scripts that are related to the game like the audio manager and sound maybe the button events and let's drag these let's create another folder for the player using right click create folder i'm gonna call it player uh, so all of these are related to the player and let's drag them under this player folder now we have to attach this audio manager script to an empty game object under our level. Let's right click, create empty, and I'm going to call it audio manager. Let's reset the transform. Then attach the script to it. And once you do that, you will see a list of sounds. For now we have zero. For example, let's add five. And under each element, we have some properties like the name of the sound, the audio clip, as well as the volume, the pitch, and whether it's loop or not. Anyways, let's start with the first one. Whenever we pick up a jam, we are going to play it. I'm going to call it coin. So we'll use this name later on to play the audio clip. Under audio, we have this coin sound that you can play. Let's hit this play button. We have to drag it under the clip property. Next, we have the audio mixer. For now, we are not going to use it. I will change the volume to one. The default pitch is one and leave loop as unchecked. So if you are playing a theme or a music theme, make sure to set loop time. And with the same way, you could add the other sounds. But before that, let's try to play this one using its name, under scripts, then player. And we're going to open up the player collision script. Let's open it up in Visual Studio. Then under the on trigger enter, and under the if statement, of course, we can play the audio by getting the audio manager script using find object of type. Then we enter the name, audio manager, and that will get the script. Then we can call a function, which is play. This takes the name of the audio, which is coin. Now let's save the script and test it. And there you go. You could also adjust some other settings, like the pitch. I think I'm going to increase it. And the volume. Let's change it to 0.8 or 0.5 with the same way you could add the other audios by using this audio manager let's put it up here because it's important and let's add a second element i'm gonna call it game over then drag in the game over clip and let's set the volume to one and the pitch after that I'm going to use the player collision. Here we are checking if the player collides with one of the obstacles. We are changing game over to true. 
under here we can play the audio using find object of type audio manager dot play game over before we save the script I want to optimize the script a bit as you can see we are using this audio manager object few times we can create a reference to it let's go on top and use audio manager that's the type I'm gonna call it uh, audio manager then let's use the start method to initialize it using audio manager equals find object of type audio manager I'm gonna copy this paste it then we will use this object using control C then control V and that's how we can optimize our code let's save it and test again we have the pickup sound and the game over so it's working now let's add the button click sound once we click on the try button we're gonna play this one and to do that we can add the audio under player manager uh, sorry under the audio manager I'm gonna call it button or uh, click then drag in the button click sound and change the volume to the default value 1 and 1 and this is gonna be a bit different you have to select the button which is under the game over panel replay then under these on click events we can add another one to play the sound you can simply drag in the audio manager then we can access the play function using audio manager and play which takes the string which is called click I'm gonna copy it then paste it and that's how we can play a click sound once we click on a button and yeah it's working so I think that's pretty much it guys for this video I hope you like it if you have any question or comment make sure to write it under the comment section down below in the next video we're gonna improve the graphics of our game by applying some post-processing effects and I will see you in the next one.